collision between Bruce Lee and Kamaru Usman. Well, even dating to his time on The Ultimate Fighter DC back in 2015, you got the sense very early on that Kamaru Usman could be something special, as he has always put it. I'm a problem. He's a champion. He's a real problem. Yes, he is a problem because he has a pace and pressure that most guys can't handle. We saw it in the RDA fight. We saw it in the Woodley fight. And because his wrestling is so smothering, as he showed in the Marais fight, his striking opportunities open themselves up. Kamaru Usman, as you say, J.A., is a real problem for anybody at 107. And he's a loyalist. He has been true to his coaches, Henry Hoof, Greg Jones, and everybody else. Kamaru Usman has realized the dream, and he'll try to take it to the next level here tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Chief. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem after Jamar right. to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So two years, the gap in age, some differences in height and reach. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is one round in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 19 wins, one loss. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare, Ushma. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And when the action begins, the referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean has drawn the assignment here. Ready. Ready to All right, so the fight is now underway. On one side, you have a fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. Going to be interesting to see how long he can keep it up with. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see. Oh, late defense on the takedown. It scrambles to his feet nicely. Oh, nice connection there with the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. It's a beautiful, fast, quick jab with meaning. Wow, what a kick. Looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. And there comes the separation now. Big kick lands. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Unable to get the fight to the ground. Nice job by the opponent. Nice job by the opponent defending the takedown, but now he is going to have to mix it up to get the first shot. Will not work. He's got to go one, two, three at a time to try to overwhelm him, to give him too much to process to try to get this fight to the ground. Ooh. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Nice one-two combination there. And they separate. 
Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Big power punch land. Now he gets back to range. And he landed the right hand there. All right, he'll engage in a single power tie. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Takedown defense holds up. And now he's got the tie clinch. Big leg kick land. Got the single collar tie. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Throws the right hand there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Battling for hooks. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh! Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. All right, single collar tie now. Switching stances here. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And they separate. Big head kick land. Nice one, two there. He's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Stuff the takedown, no problem. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. He's able to slip the left there. Oh, man, look at that one body shot. Did that that shows the power. And the power in the placement. It was placed perfectly, and now he's got his corner hook. Oh, that is as big a strike as he has landed thus far today. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Changes his stance. What a beautiful nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Oh, looked like that left hand found the target. Found the target as it has on so many occasions tonight. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Close guard. Now he's chasing the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Oh! Now he falls back into the finishing position. Brilliant submission defense there. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, Continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Oh. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on Beach Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. Oh, huge block. Winded up on the right there to no avail. Really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. What a double leg takedown attempt here, and that is a good attempt as he gets the fight back to the mat. It's ideal. His ideal situation just happened. He got it on the shot, didn't have to put too much effort to finish. Great job. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. 
Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground. Side. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Ground and pound strike there now. Oh, looks like he's transitioning to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jiu-jitsu guys. An attack an armbar. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off. Now he falls back into the finishing position. He got it. He got it, John. How about it? Gets the win by submission. Beautifully executed there on the ground. as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has called a stop to this contest, declaring the winner by tap out, Kamaru, the Nigerian nightmare, Ushba. Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. And they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward, they needed to not just win, but get the finish, and they certainly got it tonight. They got the finish. He's such a terrific grappler. Every time he is on his back, he looks for submissions over and over again. Eventually, he found one tonight and got the desired result.